So on today's tutorial, we will learn how to automate the login on SAP with Automation Anywhere. So this is one of many tutorials uh, that will come or where I will release it around automating SAP with automation platforms such as YPath, Automation Anywhere and Power Automate. So first of all, to be able to automate SAP, we need to enable the client side and server side scripting. So Automation Anywhere, YPath or other automation platform or scripting programming language can interact and automate around SAP GUI. So first, enable client-side scripting on SAP. So here, uh, after logging in on SAP, will appear this screen. And so let's here open the options and inside accessibility is scripting. Let's access scripting option. And so here, make sure you enable uh, scripting. And also uh, if some of these options are checked and check them. So just leave enable scripting uh, checked. And so by this way, we have enabled the client side scripting. Now to enable uh, the server side one, let's execute the transaction RZ11. And now here on parameter name, let's input save SAP GUI slash user underscore scripting. And let's press display. And from here, uh, let's press a change value. And so here we can see that my current value is true. That means that the server side scripting is enabled. If in your side shows as false here, just set a new value to false and then save. And by this way, we will enable uh, the server side scripting. So with this done, server side scripting and client side scripting enabled we can uh, run automations on SAP GUI. So and now uh, let's uh, open automation anywhere. So I'll create a new uh, task bot and define the name uh, SAP login, for example, and let's create. So first step, uh, before doing the actual login on SAP, uh, first we need to start SAP Logon. So then from SAP Logon, we can open the SAP uh, Login screen. So for that, uh, to start SAP Logon, let's use here the action that allows to start a program. So here we'll use the action open program file. And so here uh, we have to now pass the full path to the SAP logon executable. So I have here mine. So here I'm providing the full path to the SAP logon executable. So when automation anywhere, it tries to execute um, these uh, files. So the executable will be able to start the SAP logon. So uh, let's just test and see if it works. So I'll just close your SAP. So let's close it. And now if we run the task bot, we will see uh, that the SAP logon will be started. So it's running now. It has run successfully. And yeah, we can see here that SAP logon was executed and started successfully. So with the SAP logon open, we can move to the next step. That will be to access here the connection, open the connection uh, to open so uh, the login screen. So to automate this step, so uh, the login, the actual login on SAP. Are you ready to master SAP automation with platforms like YPath, Power Automate, Automation Anywhere, Blue Prism, and even Python? In my upcoming courses, you'll get hands-on experience and real SAP access so you can practice everything you learn. Free access to SAP is impossible to get as far as I'm aware, but I'll got you covered on my courses. And I'm about to launch these SAP automation courses anytime soon. 
Subscribe via the link below in the description or in the comments to stay tuned and be the first to know when these courses go live. We have a specific action for that here on Automation Anywhere. So here, uh, if we write connect and go to SAP, here we can see the connect action that uh, does basically uh, the login on SAP. So we don't need to use uh, action to fill the username, the password, the client. So these uh, login properties, uh, basically this action handles everything. So uh, first, uh, will you automate throughout the SAP GUI? So I'll select this option. Now here name. So this is the connection name to be used. So what is the connection name? So in my case, it's SAP. So this connection that we can see here, my case, the name of the connection, it's SAP. So first we indicate the name of the connection. So now that we indicate the connection name to be used, we have to indicate the login details such as the username, password and client. So the client to be used. So on my case, it's 800. Then username and password. So uh, I have them stored on a credential. So you can just use this core string just for this demo, so for this tutorial. But uh, ideally, uh, use from a credential where it's securely stored. So in my case, I created a locker SAP. Then I have the credential SAP GUI and attribute. So for here, for the username, I'll get the username. And then uh, for the password, so SAP Locker, SAP GUI credential, and get the password attribute. And then the language, so in my case, it's, it's English. And that's basically it. So let's see if it's working properly. So I'll just close SAP. So now let's just here close everything. And now uh, let's run. And let's see if it will work, the login. So SAP logon was started. And now we will see uh, that we are going to the SAP login screen, as we can see. And now it's been done, the login. And yes, it worked well. So the login was done successfully on SAP. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to see more stuff around SAP automation with automation platforms or Python, please let me know in the comments. And if you have a specific a topic that you want to see addressed around SAP automation or even other topic around automation, please uh, let me know in the comments. And now subscribe to the channel and enable notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on my channel.